welcome back to Drag the Mag. Today we have come to Leicester at a bridge where a few people have lost their magnets. So we have come prepared. I'm saying we because I'm with Martin from Peterborough Magnet Fishing UK and we've not just come armed with the magnets today there's something new for both our channels we have the kayak which i'm gonna be in above the water basically helping martin who's gonna be in the dive suit so he's gonna be going in diving underneath trying to retrieve magnets seeing what else is under there Noticed a lot of rubbish near the sides and a couple of traffic cones, so we'll probably get them out as well. Um, you see my last video where I've been ranting about Aragon. They still haven't delivered the bags, so Martin's kindly going to let me have the ones that the Coventry Council gave to him um, until Aragon decides to bring some to me. So yeah, we're gonna get kitted up and get sorted out, get the waterproofs on, the dive suit, sort the kayak out and get ready. And I'll bring you back in a sec. Before we get ready, why don't you check both Magnet Store and Online Magnets out as well. Magnet Store, use my discount code DTM10 and Online Magnets, use Martin's discount code POSH10, capital P, um, and that'll get you 10% off basically your purchase on both top of the range magnet sites so yeah gonna get kitted out let's do this so yeah i'll be using the g120 aka dyson fury as i call it sucks like a hoover fights like tyson so yeah martin's already pulled this out with a grapple hook some kind of lion figure Half man, half line. And then this is what we're using. The Piranha Kayak. Obviously, we've got the life jacket as well. So we're going to be safe. Got the oar there as well. Martin's just getting himself set up. Get the tripod set up as well see what is causing all these magnets to get stuck see a couple of cones in there already some cans as well so we get most of the rubbish out if we can did have a heron over there a minute ago not sure where he's disappeared to but yeah let's do this well as you can see got the life jacket on Martin's just setting up the tripods. Then here's all the fancy piece of kit. So if you pop over to Martin's channel, you'll probably understand about more of the kit that he's using. To be honest, I'll let him explain what he's using on his channel. But yeah, some fancy kit there. So we're pretty much set to go. Um, pretty pretty interested about this one to be honest looking forward to this so yeah let's crack on with it so yeah we're both off the water now I'm gonna throw the magnets in um did have to save martin uh too much air got into the suit um grabbed onto the back of the kayak and i pulled him back basically to the edge so yeah, if you're going to do diving, always make sure you've got someone with you, basically. Um, but whilst going along in the kayak, along the river, I've gone, gone and filled the bag up with plastics that were just laying on the top of the river. Sit all in there. And then I saw this floating on the top as well. So I've grabbed this, might even take it out to be honest, it's not in bad condition. Some kind of clock. So yeah, take that home, clean it up. It's got that 3D image, so when you look at it, it sort of stands out. So yeah, take that home, clean that up. 
Uh, gonna have a quick coffee, quick fag, and then start throwing the magnet in, I think. Sweet. Had quite a few people stop and ask us what I was doing, so I couldn't film, but I'll just show you the finds up to date. Found this, believe it's a motor from a car or something. I'm not sure. Fair bit of weight though. Some bolt. Got a phone. So that'll be going to Alistair as well. Welsh Dragon Magnets. Found this weird symbol. And then I saw these that were basically up against the bridge around the corner. There's another one. Nothing wrong with them. So I might clean them on. Do something with them. And then I found. 9% Carpacci, I think that's how you pronounce it, I'm not sure. And then, just pulled out the safe door. Safe. And there you go. It's another safe door. Pulled that out alongside this monkey pole been bent at the end probably used as a pry bot or for something so my magnets on something big out there having to use two winches to try and get it through so yeah as i was saying we've had to use this winch and this winch this winch is giving us hassle at the moment. The wire keeps getting caught. We'll sort it. But there is something big out there. We determined to get it. It's coming closer and closer each time. So fingers crossed we can retrieve whatever the magnet's on. So yeah, two winches later, still didn't get the item. The magnet popped off, got the magnet back. That's with two winches, so something's definitely fraying a rope. So I am gonna redo my rope, I think. Probably cut it off there, do a polymer knot somehow. Sweet. Yeah, that is heavy, whatever that is. So now I know why people call this death bridge, just taking everyone's magnets. So yeah, the magnet was on the end to this bit not cut it or refreaded it i was gonna try and cut it but mike said put it on the other end which i did so i've taped it up I'm not happy with the eye bolt at the moment it's just due to aluminium I'm trying to tighten it up and it doesn't look like it's in straight but it's it's in there so yeah cable ties and tape it's all sorted get throwing Right. Just been up and down the river. Making the Just been on a little trip down the river. And it's filled. <laughs> Another bag. Well, that's three bags of rubbish we've got out. Uh, I'd say two of them are just from the kayak going along the edges. The other one we filled up with plastic while we've been magnet fishing. But yeah, there's Vinny in his little kayak. I've got a big part barrier to get out. Oh yeah. And I'm stuck. Right, so I am gonna help Martin. Right, Vinny's got back. Sink. Yeah, he's gonna get that out with me and release my magnet and as you can see i'm out of the water on dry land a bit wet hands are pretty dry though i've just used one of my spare towels to dry them off always bring spare towels spare clothes to change at the end of the day if we get too wet and too dirty um but yeah three plastic bags full of just 
plastic basically and rubbish that was floating on top of the river can't believe it um helped martin get his magnet off the side trying to get the prize bar the hammer scaffold pole down here it didn't work or anything I managed to get the crowbar prize bar basically through the eye bolt and kept leaning and leaning and leaning so not only have i rescued martin today also rescued his magnet so yeah so it's always good to go in pairs if you're gonna go on your own magnet fishing I'd recommend staying away from metal sides. Um, randomly throwing the grapple hook in as well can be a pain. You can get in a lot of trouble for that. I've thrown a grapple hook before and got it stuck behind some rocks. Um, I had to get Martin to rescue it. That was behind Asda actually. So yeah, gonna have a break, have a quick fag and then get throwing my magnet back in there basically try and get my leg waking up because the canoe is a bit short there's a bit of plastic in the bottom I'm gonna end up taking it out but I've got a dead leg from sitting in there but you know it's the first time you've got to get used to it so see you in a sec well just had the last three throws got a spanner and just some fence bits basically so much fence pieces me and Martin were pulling out it's unbelievable probably about 20 to 30 but we've got one pile there another pile up there and another pile so there's three piles to pick up so we're gonna pack all the diving equipment away the kayak the magnets take them back to the car then we're gonna come back and load the scrap and take that to the car and load the car up with the scrap. Uh, quickly clean down the paths, tidy them up. So yeah, sweet. So yeah, I'll quickly show you where we've been today. There, the bags ready for the local council to pick up. Saw so little pickers as well doing their rounds. They've got a black bag there and another bag underneath it. So they will be disposed of properly. But this is where we've been. We've not been in here. Probably be like ferry meadows in Peterborough, probably private land. Yeah, see, private. But that's where we were. Just that bridge there. Watermead Way, A563. See how all the magnets are packed up. The diving stuff is packed as well. And now we're gonna take them back to the car and come back for the scrap. So the trolley's empty because everything is now in the car. All the magnets, the diving stuff. Martin's just putting the kayak on the roof and strapping it up so it's tight and secure. Then we're gonna use this trolley and go and get the other little scrap from down there. So believe it or not, one load is ready to go to the car. Martin, what do you think about this load? It's all fence posts. <laughs> Look at that. Literally full to the brim, just fence posts. Wow. So we're going to take this back to the car first, then come back for the other lot that's just over there where the white bag is. So, as you can see, trolley is empty first load which was the fence posts are loaded in the car got the angle grinder in there ready to cut some of the big poles that we've got out so I just walk into the second pile now 
where the third pile, the first and second pile fitted on together, which was nice. But it's only going uh, to not be as long as my other videos have been um, recently. I need you to, you know, I was having fun in the kayak this morning and Martin was having fun diving. So first time for both of us really, um, not obviously kayaking and diving, but it's first and brand new to our channels. So make sure you check out Martin's channel, Peter Magnet Fishing UK. Yeah, here's the second scrap pile. So we've got a longish pole here, some other bits there, some metal girders somewhere, some traffic cones that belong to the council. So we'll probably move them and put them up near the road where we've just walked from. Let's do this. So there you go. Martin using the angle grinder to get through this. I've got through here a little bit, a little bit there, just another little line to go here. Bring you back in a minute. So that angle grinder there has just packed up on us. But we are going to take this back to the car and try and use the other angle grinder to cut it off. I'm not sure what Martin's trying to do. Oh, he's going to try and bend it. So the light has faded. The only light we've got is a street light. So you can just see Martin carrying one half of the girder. Which means the angle grinder has done its job. It's gone through, cut it in half. The other half, can't see it, but it's down there. So I load this on the trolley, load the other bit on the trolley, take everything back. So as you can see, everything's loaded. I'm gonna take these back to the car put the traffic cones next to the council bin because they belong to the council technically it's theft if we take them so we're going to do the right thing and leave them next to the council bin all right it's been a third trip we've made to the scrap pile um angle grinder played up a few times but it's done it cut free so bring you back in a sec and as you can see everything's loaded in the car Pathways are all cleaned up. So yeah, gonna hit the road. So yeah, been a really adventurous day today, to be honest. Uh, been in the kayak, rescued Martin, rescued Martin's magnet as well. Martin's been underwater in the dive suit. Um, not many interesting finds, but Martin has found, uh, I'm not going to say, you're going to have to check his channel out, unfortunately. Um, but yeah, as you've seen, the car is loaded, both knackered, but it's been pretty warm today. None of us have been cold. The water was a bit cold to start with, but yeah, so right now it's warmed up. So it's goodbye from me and it's goodbye from Martin. So we will be back on Tuesday, I think. And then we've got the Clapton one coming up. The april event the second and third i think we're going away on the friday come back on the sunday so yeah but i'm pretty sure you'll see me again soon i've got to go and do a massive litter pick um with john hopefully magnet demon so yeah i'll catch you in a bit sweet keep smiling take care